Oh, wow. She may be young, but singer-songwriter Leah Belfazer has found a way to use her words to connect with fans in such a powerful way. We're so happy to feature her in My Moment to Shine. Leah, that was so awesome. Thank you so much for gracing our virtual stage. We so appreciate it. Tell me more about the album. Congratulations. It's called Crossing Hermes Bridge. It's an interesting name. Thank you. Hermes Bridge, I live in Vinings, and Hermes Bridge is an old historic footbridge that crosses the Chattahoochee River. And I used to cross it every day to go to the old school outside of my neighborhood that I used to attend. And these songs were written in a transitional period when I was deciding to switch schools and um, leave my lifelong friends and the teachers that I love to take a leap of faith and go to the school that was in my neighborhood with 2,000 kids who I did not know a soul. Um, but I was ready to take that leap of faith and Hermes Bridge um, is also named after Hermie Alexander, who was a civil rights activist in the 60s. And there's a plaque on the bridge that reads, she built bridges across gulfs of prejudice and ignorance, which, wow. I think, yeah, I think it's a message that still holds true, especially today. Absolutely. You know, I can't believe just listening to you, you're so mature and uh, you have so much depth to you at the ripe old age of 16. Uh, talk about when you're writing songs um, that really speak to us, um, how you really tackle this subject matter, being that, you know, you are so young and haven't lived this full life to have experienced some of the trials and tribulations. Um, well, I got to spend some time with a great veteran songwriter, Phil Barnhart, and he gave me two pieces of really good advice, and that was to 
observe the world around you, number one. And I think that's so important because there's only so much that you can write about yourself. And at 16, I don't have a ton of life experience. So I rely on writing topics that I see going on around me. Um, and the second piece of advice he gave me is that every song is not worth writing, which I struggle with and I still think about when writing today. Yeah. Is this song gonna be meaningful? And is this song gonna be a song that people are gonna relate to and want to listen to? Well, we are so excited for you. What's next? Tell us more. I was just nominated for Artist of the Year in the teen category for the Georgia Country Awards on November 13th in Macon. I'm gonna be performing at the award ceremony and that's gonna be super fun. And I've got a lot of content coming up, some music videos. So I'm super excited for the coming months. Uh, we are too, we so appreciate it. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, isn't she so impressive at such a young age? If you want to learn more about Leah and her music, all you have to do is visit leahbellfazer.com. That's leahbellfazer.com. So awesome.